Hey everybody, Jim Haas, Regional Sales Manager with Blaze. Today we're going to discuss analog temperature gauges. Hey, I've dedicated a whole video just to the analog temp gauge. Uh, reason being, well, one of the many reasons, uh, I do a number of cooking videos on my YouTube channel and I tend to get into training mode where I go off on any number of things and get sidetracked from the recipe at hand. Usually one of those things is going to be temp gauges, how they work, um, and why I always tell people, think of your temp gauge as low, medium, high. Don't look at the number on the gauge. Uh, what this is doing is giving you an average oven temp of the grill, and more specifically, an average temperature of what's right behind this, this gauge. Uh, it is an analog gauge, so, so that's what you're getting, an average temperature of where this is set. So brand to brand, it's going to give you a different reading. Uh, if, a, if a grill hood is shorter, this is going to be closer to the heat source. It's going to give you a different reading. You see where I'm going with all that. Uh, so it kind of drives me crazy when I'm looking at a recipe or a, or a, a YouTube video and somebody says, preheat your grill to 600 degrees. Every temp gauge on every grill is going to give you a different reading. Um, it's also important to know that the grill surface temperature is going to be substantially hotter than what this has given you. Uh, so, um, that being said, uh, the only time I really will give an actual number when I'm doing a cooking demo is if I'm doing a low and slow smoke. Uh, so I use a Blaze Kamado. It's a charcoal grill. And basically how it works, there's three levels of grates in there. I got charcoal on the bottom, heat deflector on the center, and then you get that nice rolling smoke up in the dome. Uh, when the dome is full of smoke, it's kind of giving you a little more consistency as far as temperature between the top of the dome and the cooking surface. So, uh, you know, with a little bit more accuracy, I can say, hey, today we're, we're going to be smoking whatever it is at, you know, it, and it's always going to be, well, not always, but usually about that 230 degree, 230 to 250 mark. Um, so aside from the, the smoking videos, so if I'm doing something on my gas grill, or even just doing anything on, on the charcoal grill, um, aside from smoking. I'm always gonna to refer to the temperature as, hey, we're gonna be cooking on low, medium, or high. I'm gonna go you know, anywhere in between that. Uh, think of your temp gauge as cut into thirds, low, medium, and high. And then it's also important to know the personality of your grill. So if you're stepping up, uh, you know, like from a $200 gas grill to a premium brand, whether it's Blaze or anything else, um, regardless of that, even if you're not stepping up in a category, if you're just getting a new grill, I always recommend doing something simple the first couple of times, at least, uh, like hot dogs, hamburgers, just to know the personal personality of your grill, how fast it cooks and things like that. And then, um, yeah. And then I go back to, all right, today we're cooking, we're going to be doing steaks. So we're going to be cooking on high, you know? Uh, so, so there you have it. Um, that's kind of the gist. And, um, I just wanted to get this video out there so that I can now go back and edit down my cooking videos to get them down to that five to eight minute mark because I think right now most of them are at like 17 minutes and that's just that's just too long. Um, and the reason being is I, I go off on things like temp gauges and how they work and why you should never look at them. Nah, I'm just kidding. You should always look at them. Uh, but you know, a better understanding of how analog gauges work will uh, enhance your grilling experience, at least I hope. So hopefully this made sense. Um, I can now go back and redo a bunch of things. And if anyone has questions, I can refer them to the temp gauge video. Uh, and if you've got questions on this, feel free to comment below. And thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.